Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today's August 31st, last day of meteorological summer is upon us. We soon head into meteorological fall, and by December 1st, we'll be into meteorological winter. That doesn't mean a lot right now. We're still dealing with plenty of heat. We got some fires ongoing out there, and we've got some interesting weather to talk about here over the next few days. But looking at yesterday first, you can see the Garnett fire producing some smoke out there. We got the chemos to build up across the higher train, but I did not see that any lightning strikes were recorded with that activity. And we come back out towards this morning, marine layer right along the immediate coastline. There's a lot of nice, glorious sunshine really up and down the coast until you get way up towards Northern California. And again, you don't have to go too far inland to get away from those lower clouds. So Tempest Weather Station, this could be useful here over the next few days. Detects lightning up to 25 miles away. It's all solar powered and wireless. It has a great smartphone app as well, and you help support the channel if you click that link down below to save 10% off on one. So again, confirming here, no lightning strikes over the last 24 hours, but that is going to be changing here over the next couple of days. And what I'm showing you here is surface smoke. This does not include the smoke aloft, but you can see the Garnet Fire producing quite a bit of it, including uh, into the San Joaquin Valley at times here as we go through tonight and kind of see northern california still dealing with some of the fire smokes here in nevada kind of dealing with quite a bit of surface smoke here as well but you know it looks like it's clearing out a little bit here as we go on in through what is this on in through tomorrow at times for some of southern california and not too extreme but that is a lot of smoke right near that fire and you can see where the garrett fire is right here it's burned close to twenty thousand acres right now so yeah it is a fair smoke producer as we saw now look at the tropics so there is tropical storm kiko now this should continue off to the west no threat to the southwest usa may actually bring some increased rainfall to portions of hawaii a, a few days from now but if we take a look here disturbance number one 80 percent chance of formation over the next seven days and this one could make its way back towards the southwest usa more on that here in a moment San Diego National Weather Service talking about some heat advisories out there. You can see it's not for the immediate coastline, just clips Irvine. There's Anaheim right there, Lake Elsinore. And then you can see Alpine out there on Interstate 8. Um, but yeah, you can see some pretty warm temperatures out there. Anaheim at 94 degrees. These Palm Springs 112, Thermal 111, pretty warm. Octillo 109, El Strencho 111. San Diego, much more comfortable there at 82 degrees here today. Now, uh, this is 500 millibars. So this is the latest European model. You know, of course, you got California right there. You got the Hawaiian Islands at the bottom left. It's about 18,000 feet up in the atmosphere. It gives us a good look at general ridge and trough position. So as we go through the next couple of days, you'll notice this this little feature right there, that little upper level low is what's going to eventually cool us down a bit. It's also going to bring some thunderstorm activity, or this is going to, let's call it, it's not going to let us warm up that much. Across some of BC and Washington, portions of Oregon, they're getting some well above normal temperatures here with this ridge expanding up north. But this is going to help cool us down a bit and keep us from letting that heat wave be too extreme. It's also going to bring some thunderstorm activity with us here uh, over the next few days. I'll show you more on that here in a moment. You can also see the tropical system down there it's not yet named but it's going to move up Baja there and probably across Baja and towards some of the southwest USA this trough right here is probably going to keep that from making its way too close to Southern California, but it could bring some increased moisture at least briefly and then you can see this troughing kind of swing through as we go towards the end of next week. Now, precipitable water looking at here, and there again is Kiko out here over the open ocean, kind of harmlessly trudging off to the west. Then you see this next couple system right there. That's the one we're watching. That's going to move across Baja and maybe towards the southwest USA. And then you can see that next trough that's going to kind of kick that off to the east. And one more thing I want to look at here, you can kind of see this upper level low right there. That's what's going to keep this heat wave from being too bad here across California. And that's what will bring some of that thunderstorm activity with it as we go through the next few days as well. So looking at the European total precipitation in inches, we go through the day today. It does pop off a few thunderstorms for the Sierra Nevada. Not much to write home about there, though. And then we go on into the day Monday. You can see some of this popping off across maybe the transverse range where the Peninsula Range meets. As so we go through Monday afternoon, can't rule out a couple of thunderstorms with that for tomorrow. But then as we go on in through Tuesday, you see the coverage of that precipitation really increase. Some of it even gets out towards San Diego and, and a bit closer towards Orange County here, some of the Los Angeles County, up across the Sierra Nevada as we go on in through the night Tuesday, and then maybe a, a, a repeat there again on Wednesday. But yeah, you can kind of see that upper level load that I showed you, bringing that precipitation across the region. Region. 
And if we look at the North American model over the next couple of days as well, so we go through the day today, it, you can see it just maybe a couple showers across the Sierra Nevada. That should be about it. And then we scroll on in through tomorrow, and you can see some of this approaching here across you know Baja, up across the California Mexico border, and then this activity moves up in the overnight hours, and you can see some of that thunderstorm activity here popping off across the higher terrain all the way up towards Northern California as we go through the day on Tuesday. This would be Tuesday afternoon shown here. Now 500 millibar heights. This is wind speed at 500 millibars and you'll clearly see this system so this is what you're looking for see this little spin in the atmosphere out there that's that system kind of riding up as we go through the day on monday then it pushes up across the area on tuesday and that's going to keep things from getting too downright hot here across the state of california now wider view of things there there's kiko out there across pacific ocean we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery of the hawaiian islands to the bottom left there is the state of california kind of top right and this would be our next area of potential tropical system development here so we'll be watching that over the next few days and we look at the two meter temperature here still some pretty warm temperatures out there uh, up to 100 in the north of sacramento valley bakersfield 102 we go through monday tuesday you notice kind of the cool down coming there tuesday wednesday we do drop those temperatures back down at least a little bit here it's not too much but we go through friday saturday sunday then we get more of a trough kind of rolling in here and suppress the temperatures a bit more as we go through the upcoming weekend now, looking at the artificial intelligence, we'll look at the extended forecast a little bit here. There's that upper level low for the Pacific Northwest. There's our upper level low right there. You see it move up the California coastline there with our thunderstorm chances. There's the next tropical system, probably going to get shunted off to the east there across portions of Arizona and New Mexico. Then you can kind of see the trough hanging out. Ridge tries to redevelop here, subtropical ridge here across portions of Southern California. But then the next trough kind of swinging through there, that would be kind of nice. <laughs> but we're looking over 10 days out in the forecast so just kind of a nice little fantasy look at what may be to come but i uh, wouldn't get your hopes set on that just yet we'll continue to watch it and one more look at the extent of forecast again kiko is right here there's that cutoff closed low there north of the hawaiian islands we scroll off and through the extended and you can see our next tropical system what will it be named who knows i haven't looked at that just yet i think they have that information ready to go though i probably should do that and then we go through the next few days and again thunderstorm potential across a lot of the southwest and that system moves off in towards the portions of arizona and new mexico and then you can kind of see this next trough that I was looking at through the extended forecast. Not a lot of precipitation with it, but it would help to suppress temperatures. Six to 10 day, the above normal broad brush here for the West Coast. Actually, some near normal creeping into portions of Arizona and a little bit below normal across portions of Mexico as well. And we go to six to 10 day above normal, as you saw here across a lot of the Southwest, September 5th through 9th. And if you want to help donate to the channel here, the Patreon page lets the creator keep about 88 to 90% of the your hard-earned money so probably a good, good place to do that um but yeah what else i guess we will do this all again tomorrow hopefully you guys are having a good day and i will talk to you guys then